Um, I'm uh, Dr. Zian Malikzada from uh, the Netherlands. Um, uh, I work in uh, Belgium, across the border, in uh, Gezondheidszorg, Hospital in uh, Blankenbergen. Um, I'm here to learn uh, uh, laparoscopy, do fellowship, uh, and uh, that's why I'm here. Now, obviously, before you decided to come here, you would have thought about a few other centers where to go. Yeah. Because where you can have the maximum exposure to yeah. laparoscopy. Yes. Any particular reason why you thought of MPH? Uh, there's two. Uh, uh, actually, two, uh, I, I came in contact with this uh, center by my, one of my best friends. Uh, he advised me to, to come here. He was here three years ago uh, for training. The second is because of high volume. Yes, uh, the high volume hospital, you can learn a lot. Yes. Now, out of the six months that you wanted to spend, I believe you have spent almost five months here? Yes, this now, is the first month. Yeah. the expectations that you had, yeah. uh, what kind of exposure you may have, yeah. and now that five months have passed, yeah. and what is your experience so far? Fantastic. Uh, uh, we started the first uh, uh, weeks uh, here with, uh, with uh, uh, lectures, with uh, uh, practicing in uh, Dry lab, and after the 25 hours in dry lab, we moved on in, uh, to wet lab. Uh, we had uh, animal models, chicken and porcine model. Uh, we had the opportunity to, to practice on uh, that uh, animal models. Uh, after finishing those uh, schedules, uh, we had the opportunity to, to participate actively in, uh, in, in uh, uh, operations. Uh, and uh, I did uh, two nephrectomies, uh, um, and so to say, I achieved my goal during my stay here. I'm fully satisfied. What, what is your opinion about uh, the facilities available? Uh, I've seen uh, so many centers uh, compared to those centers. Uh, honestly speaking, is very good uh, and well equipped. Dry lab and wet lab, we have uh, 24 hours per day in seven days in a week exposure to 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 to, to machines and uh, you, you can you, you can uh, practice a lot here. So I, I think it's one of the best uh, well equipped labs I've seen so far. In the dry lab, uh, I believe it is the simulators where one learns. Yes. Uh, what are the major uh, type of machines that simulators that we have here? Uh, um, I was particularly interested in, uh, in, in uh, laparoscopic uh, procedure as I mentioned before. Um, I uh, used that pelvic trainers here but uh, ABH has also in its uh, dry lab uh, other equipment like uh, ERS uh, machine uh, Simulator for uh, PCNL, uh, simulator for uh, to, to, to learn TRPs, to your bladder tumors. So it's a very good uh, start for those who want uh, really to, to begin with in, uh, in the urology and laparoscopy. Yes, sir. You may have come across uh, urologists from other parts of the world here. Are there anybody else? Uh, and from yeah, where we, are they? We, we, yes, we, uh, I've met. Uh, so many doctors from around the world, from Turkey, from uh, Venezuela, from uh, uh, many European uh, and, and African countries. Uh, so it's not just that uh, fellowship, but also uh, kind of social life here. Uh, so many nice people. That's a really good opportunity to meet people and to have contact with them. Yeah. One of the considerations when people from abroad uh, you know, think about where to go, uh, the um, safety and other things come to mind. Yes. You know, whether if I go to say India, Gujarat, MPH, how would that be placed like? Did you find uh, Nadia a safe place to be? Absolutely. I've, uh, my experience from Nadia in say, old Gujarat is very positive and I can advise everybody uh, who wants to come to learn, uh, 
don't care about security and uh, there's no issue about that and uh, it's a very space, a safe place, it's my experience. How do you find the doctors and the staff and are they cooperative and uh, helpful? Absolutely, absolutely. They are very nice people, very gentle, very uh, calm and friendly and very, very easy to approach uh, when you compare the, the center to other centers. So you mentioned that your main objective was to learn more about uh, laparoscopy. Yes. Now, how would you rate the infrastructure uh, that the hospital has with regard to laparoscopy and the expertise of the senior doctors here and the volume, the type of uh, patients, uh, the serious and uh, things like that. Yeah. What is your experience about it? Uh, first about the volume of patients, uh, it's huge, huge here. Uh, I can give you an example, for example, uh, in a weekly basis, uh, they do here uh, five uh, transplants. And uh, which goes along with the uh, five uh, donor nephrectomies, uh, which are very good exposure. So each day you have uh, uh, one patient for, uh, for, for the laparoscopic uh, donor nephrectomy. And uh, besides that, we saw a lot of uh, other cases uh, cancer cases, stone diseases. So it is huge. And uh, about the facilities back, uh, this center has a uh, very good. Uh, a good uh, uh, library. Uh, you can come to library each moment. Uh, you have access to journals, uh, medical journals, international journals, uh, non-stop internet. So it's really good. Can I say? Yeah. Do you have access to library? I mean, the journals online. Is there an online facility? For I have. I have. Uh, I've seen that uh, on on the shelves. Honestly speaking, but they, they are, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about the robotic surgery? Have you seen any robotic surgery here? Uh, the interesting thing about uh, this fellowship is, I didn't know about the uh, robotics. Nothing. When I came here, my knowledge about the robotics uh, was zero. Uh, but I saw so many robotic procedures here. Uh, and that's why I entered. To, to, to come here next year, end of next year, 2013, to, to learn uh, robotic surgery. And I think it's one of the best, in, in the, I can say, in India and in Southeast Asia and in the world. Yeah. Now, the robotic surgery is also laparoscopic surgery. Uh, therefore, do you see the future is in uh, the high tech, I mean, the robotic surgery and things like that? I think the uh, robotic surgery is the future. Uh, comes to uh, in, in, in our in our speciality in urology because uh, in, in laparoscopic surgery you have five degree of freedom in uh, robotic surgery you have seven degree of freedom so uh, I think it is it is the, the, the future of urology and the future of medicine I think surgery so I assume that your decision to come you stand vindicated that it is just a good decision that you absolutely, made. absolutely, and uh, you would uh, rather recommend this place if anyone uh, requires to come. I, uh, based on my uh, experience here, I can advise everybody who wants to learn uh, laparoscopy, robotics, ECNL, in neurology, to come here and to 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 see and to learn uh, and how to serve patients in the future. What about social life here, weekends and all that, how do you spend time? Uh, basically, uh, Nadia is a small place, but you have here everything what you want. Uh, but the good thing about Nadia is that Nadia is in a good location and it is, it is just in one hour distance from uh, Ahmedabad, which is a big city. And you can go easily to Ahmedabad to have, uh, for example, myself, you go every weekend there and you can do shopping, you can uh, have, uh, have some fun there uh, and it's a very nice place to be. Okay. So you have been happy, I mean, that you came here and... Uh, My whole ex experience from here is positive. I can... Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.